Hello, I'm uh, Joe Ruzek. I'm a retired director of VA's National Center for PTSD, and um, I'm part of this Resilience Summit, which is pulling together a number of experts from around the world to think together about how do we build resilience in our communities and in individuals uh, at a time when we're facing an awful lot of different kinds of what we might call adverse events, climate change, uh, uh, political conflict, uh, concerns about uh, e the economy, concerns about personal uh, careers and jobs. And this is an important conference because uh, the topic of resilience is a pivot away from what we've typically done with mental health, which is to wait until someone experiences a mental health problem and then come in with our guns blazing and try and help them resolve those problems. A very good thing to do. But why not get ahead of the curve and train individuals and groups and communities to be better able, but more prepared to cope with adversity and problems when they arise. We have the methods for doing that. We have large arrays of coping skills training methods uh, available already, many of them strongly and, uh, empirically supported in research. So now is the time to figure out ways of how we can build resilience in people ahead of time. And my talk will be focusing on how to pivot from focusing with individuals, that is training, kind of asking an individual to become the person who works out how they might handle problems more effectively, to moving towards let's work with groups, let's work with larger assemblages of people, self-help organizations, nonprofits, business organizations, even the social networks of people to help them cope more effectively. And I'm excited to be interacting with a lot of uh, other professionals here, a small group of, of thinking, innovative professionals, to try to think through how we can advance the science of and, and the practice of resilience interventions.